Hi and welcome to library registration system developed using Bootstrap Kit, CSS, PHP and HTML. Now let me show you guys how this works. In here I'm going to enter members details. Yeah, it's a lecturer and let's enter that and title is a professor and the name, let's say the name is Hey yeah, Suleiman. Uh, what's his name? Okay, good Suleiman got son. Date of bed. And it's male. Where does he live? Somewhere there. And let's see that would be his email. There we go. Telephone number there. And books. That's the ISBN of the book and author Johnny Davis dates and let's just say yeah, that'll be about 10 days and no fine none and none here as well is the book missing no and the book let's just select maybe i fly and um, whatever you can just document anything in there there we go there so all you just need to do is to click on sign in and before i click on this let me show you guys the database that is the database there's no information of suleiman there okay let's go straight back in there so i'm now going to click on that there we go and let's see successfully saved so let's come in here just kind of like refresh go back in there and there we go guys we should be able to see the information of Suleiman right there there that's Suleiman's information right underneath there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys to notepad plus plus where we'll put something like this together using bootstrap kit html php and css so let's do that now guys Welcome back guys, I'm going to start by clicking on notepad but before I do anything let me take you guys straight to to bootstrap so right in here I've got bootstrap and that is the URL for bootstrap which I'm going to include in my description area but the first thing I want to do is I want to click on download because I need to download the CSS and the JS files right here so let's just click on download there we go and I'm going to just click on save yeah that is saved I will now go take you guys straight into my download area and there we go that is it right there that is it so if I don't click on that I will click on that or unzip it. I actually need this. Just those two files. I'm gonna copy them and just paste them straight inside my let's click on the C drive. I'm right there. Okay. I've already pasted the files and there they are guys. Yeah, those are the two files. Now the next thing I want to do is is to open up my notepad so let's just click on that there and I will now select the language I intend to use just click on language come right here select PHP and I'm going to enter as follows there we go now I'm going to save this as library system so let's come in and just save us right there I'm just going to paste that in there Oh, let's just type in library or oh, let's say sist that's fine dot php save there we go now before i continue i like to call where i have those files so let's say link that will be as follows so that's going to be style style sheet close that 
space and that will be referenced as follows and I'll just say equals there and one other thing I'm gonna need is let me just enter the type of file let's say type what should we type really type equals and that is going to be text slash CSS there okay right underneath here I'm just going to enter my title there and I will also enter a paragraph breaker there then let, let's come in here and just say divide let's go for class equals container so let's close that let's close the dev here right now the next thing I like to do in here is I'm just I'm going to create my the data I intend to enter so let's say that's going to be class equals row close that and this class equals row because bootstrap itself has uh, 12 columns in total I'm going to make this one this very class I'm just gonna make it 4 by 4 by 4 that would make give me 3 rows in total all right let's say column equals dash dash 4 right close that and close that now okay I'm gonna close this here that row needs to be closed as well so we need to yeah that will be for the row and there so this is one one column here and second column and the third column in here now this very first column so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table right in there let's say table and that table we have as follows let's define a row and and this row let's say it's gonna have a table data of as follows okay and that would be for let's say that would be for my member type member let's go type right and let's close that table uh, the data I mean and beside it I'm going to create another data I will go in there and I'm just going to call that input and this very input a type will be text equals text and so on okay that's my very first text so I can just copy and change this around I'm going to need about I think 10 of those anyway so let's just copy paste there I have 10 information there that will be on the table so that's the first part of the table and I'm going to then save it now let's go to my browser and just see how this very one will look like so let's come right here and that will be the live library system yeah there we go that's my very first one so all I just need to do now is just to change it around but let's come in here I'm going to copy all of these as well and just paste it on the second column here right in here there save go back in there and refresh okay that is that underneath there as well I think it's like that because I haven't closed the table let's go back in here and just close the table right here so let's say table let's close that then we open up the other table close that and close this as well there we go 
so now I'm going to copy this table, table copy and paste it right here and get this one close as well then we'll refresh that and see save back in the browser refresh there and all I just need to do now is change the details that I have on each of these components around so let's speed that up Okay, so that shouldn't take long. Let's speed it up. Okay, I have speed that up. So here are the lines of codes. The only difference now is I have male and female there. So I'm gonna save that. Let's go back to, to our browser and just refresh that. There we go, look at that. And I've also added a button, okay now let's go back to the codes right in here you will see i've enter required required so the reason being if i click on those buttons or on that very button the system will say the following data are required okay that's the whole idea so let's go back in here now one more thing i would like to do let's draw a line here so right underneath here, I'm just going to say, give me an horizontal line. So that's going to be class equals MB, and the spacing in between will be about three. Yeah, come out here, save that. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other one here. Come right down, copy that and come right here paste that in there and i'm going to paste another one in here before i finish up with that save that come right here and just refresh and you should be able to see the lines okay now what i want to add in here is going to be text area so let's do that come back in here and scroll right down okay I'm now going to add option box here so I'll first of all click my table as well there we go guys and that will be the first name of my of the books and the library so we'll save that let's go here and just refresh there and underneath here I'm going to need something like a text area here why not let's add a text area right underneath here it's still going to be right in here so just right here it's a text area and the row i would like the row to be about let's go for four and what about column i'm going to make the column about 30 that should do and close that up close the text area there paste that and close that off and we also need to close off the that will be the text okay close that off and close this there okay let's save that and see what's gonna happen with the test area there's nothing in there so come right here and just try that out I should be able to see my text area in there yeah that's my text area here text area all right so everything is fine apart from I need to add more books there so let's come in here and just copy this and change it around copy that paste 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 okay because I say multiple line I can select multiple line that's fine paste that see here that means I can select multiple rows so save that come right here just refresh and there we go so all I need to now do is just to change the names, the titles of the books. Right, let's come right here and get that straightened out fast. There we go guys. 
so those are the names of the books that I just made up okay and right underneath here you have a line in there as well and then so have a good look at the lines of codes let's move this up so that you guys can see what's there there we go right there so I'm gonna save that right let's save let's see okay all right collapse that now saved let's come in here and just refresh and there we go those are the names of my books they're all in place so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly